Okay, in this video I'm going to explain the energetics of the proton motive force. And we use this equation here to explain this. So it's delta G is equal to RT natural log of C2 over C1. And this is the concentration in the intermembrane space. And this is the concentration in the uh, matrix of the protons. And then over here we have the electrical potential Z times F times delta psi. This is the actual change in electrical potential across the membrane. And this is Faraday's constant, and this is the charge of a proton. So in general, this part of the equation is, is referring to the chemical potential, so the, the basically the, the change in pH uh, between the different sides of the membrane, and this is the electrical potential. This is actually the charge differential. So in order to get this into a more usable form, we need to convert this portion, the RT um, ln of C2 over C1, into uh, delta pH. And the way we do that is <clears throat> take the RT and we transform this from a natural log into a log base 10. So we pull out 2.3 and then end up with log of H plus on the positive side. This is going to be on the intermembrane space side. And then minus log of the um, matrix side, so the concentration of protons on the matrix side. And we all know that negative log of H plus is equal to pH, so we are able to actually swap these. So put the negative up here, and uh, we are adding then the positive on the right hand side. Adding a positive is the same as subtracting a negative, and so we get negative log of H plus on the negative side minus negative log of H plus on the positive side, which translates into pH on the negative side minus pH on the positive side. So we'll have a higher pH here than we do here, so this will result in a um, overall positive number. Here's how that works out, RT times 2.3 times pH. So we've simplified this into this. All that needs to be known is just the change in pH across the membrane. So I have a problem here. Calculate the delta G of the proton motive force if the delta psi is 0.2 volts and the delta pH is 0.65 units. So I'm just going to plug those numbers in. I'm using the gas constant in kilojoules. So I've got 8.314 times to the negative 3 times 310 Kelvin, which is temperature inside most living things, and 0.65 for the delta pH. And then I'm adding to that the energy from the electrical potential. We have the charge of the proton, Faraday's constant, and then the voltage difference across the membrane. When I do this, I actually see that most of the energy in the proton motive force comes from the um, the electrical potential, not from the chemical potential. 92% in fact, because the total is 20.975 kilojoules per mole of H+. Now, because there are 10 protons pumped across per NADH, um, I can multiply this number by 10 to get the amount of energy out of transporting the electrons from NADH to oxygen, all the way to oxygen. And so it comes out to 209.75 kilojoules per mole. This is how much is stored on the inner membrane space side of the mitochondrial membrane. And then this energy is released once these protons flow back through ATP synthase. So I hope that was helpful, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.